welcome back. Today's video is going to be a lot different than what I normally do with vlogging or camera reviews, drone stuff, etc. The other day, maybe two or three days ago, a video came across my recommended um, videos uh, entitled hashtag walk away. And I was like, what is this hashtag walk away? And why is it why is it in my recommended videos. So I clicked on it, and it was this guy who's probably, I don't know, late 40s, talking on the screen, said hashtag walk away before he started talking. And I'm like, what is he walking away? What is this walk away thing? So he starts talking and giving his story, and it's about how he walked away from the Democrat Party. And I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. And the story was really awesome. I'm like, this is a good story. I'm like, open-minded guy, got upset, walked away. Said, I'm not going to vote for a Democrat because my beliefs don't align with you anymore. And then autoplay, you know, happened. Came uh, another video came up, same thing with the same long along the same lines. And then another video, and another video, and another video. They were all different people all walks of life, all different colors, all different ages. Demographics were all completely different, but they had one thing in common. They all walked away from the Democrat party. I'm like, this is amazing. I'm like, why haven't I heard about this? I'm like, where has this been? I mean, this is probably at least like 10, 12 years old. That's why it's just old videos and they're just coming up now because I watch a lot of political stuff and I just figured I'd like to see these. But no, I clicked on their dates and they're all like two months old, four months old, eight months old, seven months old. It started last year. Like, why did I hear about this? Oh, I know why I didn't hear about this. Because the mainstream media blocks it. You know, if it's not a, it's not a Democrat or a liberal, um, it doesn't fit their agenda. No, then why would we show it to you? Because we don't want this getting out. We don't want you to know there's dissension within the ranks. Uh, that people are leaving the party because we're all flipping nuts. No, they don't, they don't want you to see that stuff. But it was it was started, I think, in 2018 by a guy named Brandon Struck. And the ironic thing about this is that I I saw last night on Fox. It was on Fox News Channel, but it was Mark Levin talking, interviewing Brandon Struck. I'm like. This is really weird. I'm like, why is this happening all right now? Um, but it, it was it was amazing to hear this guy's story. A gay, white guy, liberal Democrat, from New York City, well, lives in New York City, from Nebraska, walking away from the Democrat Party, who he's been a part of his entire life. It was amazing to hear that story. Now, I'm not a Democrat. I figured I, and I wanted to put this this video out there to give my walk away story but I didn't really walk away I want everybody to walk with me I'm a walk with person I'm already conservative I'm already a Republican I never registered or voted for a Democrat um, when I was a kid I didn't know what my grandparents party affiliation was I just knew that they were all World War II Korean and Vietnam veterans and they love their country. It didn't matter to me, Democrat or Republican, because back then, when I was 18 and I, re I was registering to vote, I didn't know the difference, really. I, 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 when you're 18, you're, you're in your cocoon. You're still, you're still figuring out the world. You haven't really come out and seen things as they are. You're still living in your parents' house. You don't, you don't know any better. You see things that your parents do, and you go, okay, well, that's how the world is. Because that's your viewpoint. You you don't have a world view yet because you didn't see anything. So I remember going down uh, to register. I talked to my dad the day before. And I said, because my mom wasn't uh, at home that time. She was like on her way home or something. I asked my dad. I said, Hey, I have to register to vote. Uh, what do I what do I register as? A, Rep a Republican or a Democrat? And he's like, Well, I'm a Republican. I said, Okay. Well, I guess I am too then. So I went down to register. And it happens to be or that day that they were closed. So come home, and my mom's home now, and I talked to her about it. And she said, well, I'm an independent. And I'm like, well, what the heck does that mean? 
and she said that, you know, my viewpoints vary depending on the person. I said, well, that sounds like a good viewpoint. I mean, I don't have to be anything. I can just be an independent. So I'm like, maybe I'll register as an independent. I'm not going to tell my dad this. I'm just going to register as an independent. So the next chance I get, I go down to the town hall and to the register, registrar's office, and I register as an independent. And I didn't know what that meant. So my very first election that I was able to vote in was George Herbert Walker Bush versus Bill Clinton. And primaries come around in August, end of July, August sometime, and I go to vote in the primaries. Well, I get there and the election official tells me that I can't vote in the primary because I'm an independent voter. I need to pick a party to vote with in the primary to pick the candidate for president. Well, I didn't know that. I'm like, oh, great. So now I can't go and vote for George Bush to be our nominee, even though he was running on a post. I think that I think that's how that happened. So I go down in the general. I go to the general election, in November. And I, I walk in as an independent, and I vote for George Bush because there's no way in hell I'm voting for Bill Clinton. Just didn't agree with any of that boy's policies. So I forget how it went exactly but the next available time I went I went and I, I registered as a Republican so I could vote in the primaries. I was not going to register as a Democrat because nobody in my family that I knew of at the time my immediate family anyways was a Democrat so I registered as a Republican. The party platform aligned to my views all conservative views, strong military, second amendment small government everything I believed in that was who I aligned with. And at the time, I was going into the Army for the next 10 years. So I'm like, why would I want to go? Why would I want to align myself with a party who wants bigger government, less military, and more taxes? I'm like, there's no way that I'm going to... I'm joining something, the military service, to protect our country. And you're going to going to tell me that you're taking money away from national defense to put into programs like welfare where these people can't help themselves sometimes depending on the situation I'm not saying all people on welfare are you are helpless but there are a good amount that are just gaming the system I'm like I don't want any part of that so that started my journey into or opening my eyes I should say into conservatism and and what it means and the older I got, the more I learned. And I continually voted for Republican candidates. And in 2007, November 2007, when I voted for John McCain over Barack Obama, I, I knew in my gut, I'm like, there's no way that John McCain is going to beat this guy. This guy has way too much charisma. And it seems like everybody in the world loves this dude. And I don't even know who the hell he is. I hadn't heard of him before until the July previous. I'm like, I don't know anything about him. All I know is he's a Democrat, seems to be a pretty good smooth, a smooth talker. That didn't jive well with me. But when he got elected, I'm like, all right, well, he's my president. What am I going to do about it? I don't like his policies, but let's see what happens. This is the first black president that we've had. This could be a great thing for the country, bring us all closer together. Who knows? Wrong answer. It went the complete opposite direction. Now, if you didn't agree with what the president was saying, you were a racist or a Nazi or a xenophobe. Anything further from the truth. But if you didn't agree with what Barack Obama was saying, you were wrong and you were labeled. What is going on? Why am I being labeled? What? Why? Are these Democrats throwing labels at me? I don't throw labels at them. I'm like I never have my entire life. Why are they throwing them at me? This makes zero sense. So, 2012 comes around. I vote for Romney again. Obama gets in. Same thing. All right. Well, carry on. Need to 
agree to disagree and uh, try to find some common ground. But again, the vitriol and the hatred that was strewn in any conservative's direction was appalling. I couldn't figure out why the Democrats who promote themselves as the party of tolerance and and we accept everybody was so full of hatred towards anybody that didn't believe in what they believed in. I'm like, that's not, that doesn't make any sense because I don't hate you. Why do you hate me? I, I, I couldn't figure it out. And then as I was putting posts up on Facebook, I'll put some political stuff up on Facebook. I don't do that anymore at all because, quite frankly, it's not going to change anybody's mind and I, I don't want to, I don't want to deal with the backlash. I, I don't care. Um, I, I don't, I'll choose my battles and that's not, that's not a place where I'm going to ever win one because people can just hide behind their keyboards and type nasty crap at you all day long. But I would put up some memes that I thought were funny or I would write something in regards to whatever legislation that was going on that day that I didn't agree with and I would type my viewpoint out and just get all kinds of nasty comments from people that I thought were friends of mine, but apparently, if I disagree, man, that was the that was it, man. I, I am I am not your friend. I I was unfriended at least four times that I know of, uh, just because I didn't agree with Obamacare. You got to be kidding me! Just because I disagree with a a policy, a healthcare policy, you're gonna hate me now? I I think that if Facebook wasn't around, we'd still be friends. You know, I there would be no no hatred um, but one person actually called me a Nazi I will never forget he called me a Nazi I've known this guy since I was 15 years old 14 years old I'm 47 now he called me a Nazi or said that my beliefs are Nazi like something like that and I'm like do you know my family history jackass my mother's family escaped Nazi Germany because they were Jewish. I am not a Nazi. My grandparents fought actual Nazis. There's no Nazis. And I'm far from one. So that ticked me off. Being called a Nazi or my viewpoints were Nazi-like. Are you kidding me? Because I disagree. I am glad that I was never in that party. I am so glad because the Republican Party or being a conservative, you don't know what someone believes in. There are pro-choice Republicans. There are pro-life Republicans. There are viewpoints from all over. Um, you can believe in, in same-sex marriage or not. You don't know until you ask. That's the beauty of it. We accept everybody in the Republican Party because there are so many different viewpoints. Um, you, you need to come together and, and work it out. And that's, that's how it's supposed to be. Not this hatred and bullshit that is going on now with the Democrats, with Antifa and, and inciting violence. And let me, let me, um, let me bring a, an ax or a, a knife or a shiv to a protest because I don't like you in your red MAGA hat and I'm going to just slice you or you know, behind my my face mask so you can't see who I am because I'm too scared to show myself. God, that ticks me off. I can't stand that. And now with Ocasio-Cortez and her socialist views and if any Democrat votes with a Republican, you're going on a list. Are you shitting me? You want to talk about a Nazi? That's a Nazi. That's how Nazis started. Oh, you don't agree with us? You're going on a list. I'm going to get her a brown shirt with a little swastika and send it to her in the mail. Come on. Seriously? If you don't agree with us, you're wrong. And you're whatever slander slur I can think of at the time. So any of you who are walking away from the Democrat Party, feel free. Come on over. Walk with us. We take everybody. We don't care. We don't care. That's, that's how the world should be. You, could, you should be allowed to believe in what you believe in and, and, and act the way you want, as long as it's within the laws. 
of course. But really, you're not, you are not going to take free thought away from me. You're not going to dictate to me who I need to vote for or how I need to think or how I'm going to operate my life based on what you think is right for me and what the government can do for me. Bullshit. Government can't do shit for me. The government's there to protect me from foreign invaders. Give me my goddamn mail and make sure the roads are okay. That's it, man. Everything else, leave me alone. Don't tax me. Just go away. Small government is the way to go. But anyways, I digress. Hashtag walk away. Hashtag walk with me. So, I'm going to put this out there. I only have 20 subscribers, so nobody's going to really watch this video. And if the 20 people that do subscribe do watch this video, I might have one subscriber because I'll, I'll subscribe to myself. <laughs> but tell me in the comments what you think. Am I way off base? Do you agree with me? Who cares? If you don't agree with me, that's good. That starts a conversation. But that's, that's one of the things that's wrong. No one's listening to anybody. There's no more conversations. It's, it's one-sided. Republicans are more than willing to have a conversation. More than willing to have a conversation. The Democrats shut down, name call, slander, throw slurs, because there's no narrative. They can't think of a reason why their viewpoints are correct. They just have been so brainwashed to think that way that whatever Nancy Pelosi says is gospel. And she's a freaking whack job. So, with that, I digress. I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to go get some water. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to chill out for a minute because my just a little, I'm a little too excited and I'm driving. So, let me know what you think. Have a good night. Have a good day. Hashtag walk the hell away.